Now, just to prove a point, what we've done is we've got on a helicopter, Dave and myself, and we've been dropped out here in uh, roughly about 120 mile acre piece of forest. Now, I don't know where we are, I've been blindfolded all the way, but what I have with me is map and a few extra navigational tools, so I'm going to take this off now. So, what we're going to do now, using map and compass, we're going to find out where we are and get ourselves back home. So, what we need is the old map and the old compass. Obviously, it's, it's good to prepare yourself to, um, to jot up map and compass and um, to make sure that your navigational skills are good. Now, uh, Dave, this is a map for Arizona. That's going to be no use. Um, and compass alone isn't going to help us. Uh, not to worry. Even the professionals get it wrong sometimes. Always have a backup, be prepared. And I, for this emergency, <laughs> GPS. Now all you need is three satellites and it'll cover the earth and find you wherever you are. Now, I've already pre... I knew roughly where we were going to be, obviously. I mean, come on, this is television. But I know roughly where we're going to be. So I've planned out a couple of routes. So this will tell me where we are and then we can just go find one of those routes and then just head back. So all we need to do is switch the old thing on. Which is not switching on. Check the batteries. Dave, no batteries. Where are the batteries, Dave? What do you mean, you Game Boy? 200 piece of junk without batteries, Dave. Arizona map, 200 piece of junk. 200 pound piece of junk. But don't worry, I'm not annoyed, and I'll tell you why. Because, satellite phone. Best in the business. You can get a signal anywhere in the world, and what it can do is, you, all you have to do is just ring the pre-dialed emergency numbers on here uh, for, you know, Thunderbirds or whoever, and no signal. No signal. No signal and low battery. Dave, we're bollocksed.